Hello and welcome to this video where I want to show you how you can use your phone and wiki commons to record midterm stands like the one there behind me which is in Temple Martin in County Kilkenny. And you can use whatever skills you're learning here to record any heritage features in your area be it midterm stands, holy wells, tower houses, windmills, whatever you can think of that isn't movable and that you think is worth recording and I just want to show you it is worth recording whatever it is styles would also be an interesting thing to do so this is one of them it leads up into the dairy building by the looks of it so they just lift the milk trans out of that door left them there and then the person with the pony and cart or donkey and cart whatever came along parked along here and the height of the milk trans stand is as the same height as the cart so they would have just gone up those steps and then just lifted the, well, just lifted, moved the milk churn stands from this milk churn stand onto the cart. And you see also it has a metal protection there when they lifted them back so the sand wouldn't get damaged easily. And this is quite a big one actually. It's 2 meters 40 by 95 centimeters. There are three simple rules along the way. The first rule is do not use Google for any of this. Do not go and search for milk churn stands on Google, download the photographs and upload them to Wiki Commons. This is absolutely a breach of copyright and we're not allowed to do that. Second rule is be safe, be seen. So if you're going out looking for milk churn stands on, along the roads, there are going to be country roads with um, reckless drivers. So please be aware of that. Wear a high-vis vest and work in pairs if you can so somebody can look after you while you're stepping back onto the road to take a picture of the milk churn stand, which is a bit risky the way people are driving. The third rule is enjoy what you're doing. There's no point doing it if you're not enjoying it, so please enjoy what you're doing. Before you go out and start recording the milk churn stands, I would recommend that you get a Wikimedia account first, because that's where we're going to upload the images to. And if you're using the app later on, it makes sense to have the account already so you don't have to stand there in the middle of the road trying to get into your account or anything like that. So you go onto your computer or in your local library. You don't have to have a, uh, your own computer. You can use the library. You go to commons.wikimedia.org, which is the international website, but there's also a wikimedia.ie for Ireland. But I always use the commons.wikimedia.org website and at the top right if you already have an account you would use the login link and if you don't have an account yet you have to create an account and the link is called create account so you click on that and there you choose a username and as it says here your username will be public you should make your username an anonymous username not your real name if you use your real name as your username your real name would not be private and will not be able to be made private later. So you have to think about that. You can use your real name, but then it will be associated with all your pictures and you might not want that for some reason. Anyway, you choose a username and then a password, confirm your password, and then you add your email address. And then they make you read this here and type that in. And then you get an email to your email address that you've entered here. So use a valid one and with the confirmation link and you have to click that link and once you have all that fixed um, remember your password and then you can log in with your username and your password and then you can go to uploads if you haven't uploaded anything that won't show anything but it will keep track of all your uploads and all your contributions because you can do more than just uploading images. So if I click on uploads, you will see all the pictures that I've already uploaded. Most of them are from Ireland. And then you can also use that username and the password for your app on your phone. If you're using, if you're deciding to use the app on your phone, you'll use the same username and password, of course. And then you can go out, explore and find milk churn stands and record them by photographing them. Before you take pictures with your camera, make sure you have the location enabled in your camera app. 
I would recommend taking two pictures. One, a context shot where you have buildings in the background or a bend in the road or whatever landmarks, a gate maybe, a field gate. And then the second picture is like a close-up of the milk turn stand so you can see if there are any steps or what the material is or if there is one of those metal protectors or if there are milk turns actually standing on top, which you do get sometimes. So I would recommend taking these two pictures to describe the milk turn stand and its location best. And then we're uploading the image with the Wikimedia app. You use the plus symbol and go onto the browser, choose the image that you have taken and then you can add a caption which is optional I think but I usually do and I usually use the townland name and milk churn stand for milk churn stands and then I somewhat repeat that in the description and add a bit more information which might be useful for you later on or for someone else who looks at the picture and who wants to learn more about this milk churn stand. I actually talked to the farmer there, I happened to run into him and he told me that the milking parlor was only built in the 1960s and then of course they, the milk churn stand went out of use anyway in the 1970s with the milk lorries but they actually stopped milking cows on the farm, they only have sucklers now. So I added that information into the description which is the local history bit, the, the oral tradition, whatever you want to call it that you can add with the image onto Wikimedia. And it helps a lot not to mistype a lot. You can add the material as well and the how many steps there are, if there are any, there usually should be. And then you can also add the dimensions if you wanted to. When we add the milk churn stand to OpenStreetMap, it helps to have the measurements because we can use the exact measurements um, by mapping them. So they're actually shown in their exact size because we usually can't see them on the satellite view. With the depicts, that's the Wikidata. I, again, I use the townland name, which sometimes it shows automatically, and milk churn stand. And for the categories, this one is in County Kilkenny, so I use milk churn stands in County Kilkenny. And then if the townland has a category, they usually don't. You just have to try. So this one doesn't, so I just didn't add it to that category. And then we have the copyright license, and I now use the CC0. You'll have to read up on that, I won't go into that now. And then you just press upload and it starts the upload process, which may take a while. And I would absolutely recommend to leave the app open. Don't open another app while it's uploading because sometimes then the upload fails. So it's best to just leave it there, upload it, don't move. And then it's uploaded and it's on Wikimedia. If for some reason you don't want to use the app but you want to use a PC, your own, or in a library, you can do that. You'll have to transfer the file from your phone onto that computer, of course. The easiest way, I would say, is to send it from on your phone to yourself by email and then going into that email account on that computer, downloading it from there, remembering where you downloaded it to and then upload it later on from that computer. You could also use Bluetooth, which is what I usually do, but I don't want to go into explaining how to use Bluetooth here. That would lead too far. So just email it to yourself and use the computer to download it from your email address.
Again, you go to commons.wikimedia.org or to wikimedia.ie and you log in with your username and your password, like we talked about earlier. And then you either click this bigger upload button here on the right or on the left under participate, there is also an upload file button or link, which you can use. I usually use the big one. And also you see, you can use, you can upload images, sounds and videos. So it's not just images, but they're the most common file name. But if you have someone who has told you a local history story about a electron stand, you can also upload sounds, but I won't go into that now. So click the upload button. And then you can either click the blue button here, select media files to share, or you can pull the file like this into this field, which you see it turns blue then. I won't do that. I'll click the select media to share. And I have my files for upload in Wiki Commons in a folder that is called Wiki Commons in my pictures folder. So I, and it usually goes to that anyway. So I just click on that and it will start uploading. which may take a while, depending on the size of your file and your internet speed. Then you click continue. And then you have to say that it is your own work, if it is your own work. So please only upload your own work. And then you can tick this box here. This file is my own work. And then it says I, and then it puts in your username, the copyright holder of this work irrevocably grant anyone the rights to use this work under the Creative Commons Attribution Share Alike 4.0 license. And you can click on legal code and read what that means. I won't do that now and I will also not use this license. I usually now use the Creative Commons CCO waiver, which um, means I release all the copyright to this image. It still has to be attributed to Wiki Commons, but I don't have copyright on that because I don't really think my pictures are that artistically valuable that I need to keep the copyright on these photographs of milk transcends or whatever. So I click next. It makes it easier, easiest for other people to use later on. So the image title, it gets from the file name and I had called it Temple Martin Milk Churn Stand, but the other one that I uploaded previously was also called Temple Martin Milk Churn Stand. So I might want to add something here to make it a genuine name. So for example, close up, because this is a close up shot. And then, then in the caption, which is optional, you can see that here, you can add a caption. I usually, again, just use the townland name, Temple, Martin, and Milk Churn Stand. This is the English caption. You could also add a caption in another language, like Irish, which I can't do because I still have to find out what Milk Churn Stand is in Irish. But I could, for example, add it in German. So you just click on Add Another Language, look for your language. you don't have to do that. I, I'm just doing this now to show you that it's possible to use another language. And then you can add a description. And we have put a lot of the description already in the context shot. something like that. And again, you could also you add a description in another language. I won't do that now. The photograph, the, the data on the photograph is taken from the EXIF data. So when your phone takes a picture or any camera takes a picture, there is certain data saved with that picture, like the date, even in a camera that is not on your phone, like a regular uh, camera. Usually you have to 
save a date with it. It's in the settings somewhere. And then it gets the current date and sometimes even the time stamp on it. If for some reason that gets lost along the way and this field is empty, you can add the date clicking on this little calendar here and choose the date. So if you're uploading an old photograph that you took, I don't know, 20 years ago, and you do have the exact date, you can add the date here. And, and otherwise, you'll just have to kind of guess and at least get the year right. In the categories, just like we did in the app earlier, we'll use the category Milk Transcends in County Kilkenny. If yours is not in County Kilkenny, but in County Cork, you use Milk Transcends in County Cork because that has its own category. If it is in any other county, in Ireland, you just use milk churn stand in, in the Republic of Ireland. If it is in any other country, you use that country. Um, I think we have them for Sweden, Finland, Estonia, United Kingdom, Germany. So if, if you have any pictures of those countries, you can add them into those categories. And if you don't have any country uh, of the above mentioned, you just use the category Miltron stands. And then the location is also taken from the EXIF data. You can see there's a lot of um, digits after the dot. If, again, for some reason that got lost along the way, do not use Google Maps, use OpenStreetMap because we can't, um, the, the data, the GPS data is also copyrighted if it's taken from Google. So if you use OpenStreetMap, sorry, I was mapping in Finland earlier, um, you can use OpenStreetMap and that's then all okay. So this one was from this farm. The location here is the camera location. It's not the location of the object. So you have to kind of remember where you stood when you took the camera. If you're off by a couple of meters, that's really not that bad. So the milk turn stand is there. You can't see it in this map, but I was standing roughly here. So what you do is right click on your mouse and click on show address. And then in the search bar on the top left, you'll get these coordinates and you can copy and paste them one by one into these two fields and be very, very careful if you're in Ireland to not forget the minus. Otherwise, the photograph will be added somewhere in Germany. And then you click publish files and that will associate all these, this information to the photograph. And then it is asking for the metadata. This is the same as the depict one in the app. This is all taken from Wikidata. So the first thing we add is milk churn. You have to click into the field, milk churn stand. And you see it has a definition there. If I open that, flip that rock. Yeah. So this brings you to Wikidata where I created this entry for milk churn stands. So you have a title there usually in the language that your browser is set to. So in my case, English, and then you have the Wikidata identifier, which is this number here, Q, and then whatever number um, it got. And the little definition. And underneath there, you can see synonyms for that. So milk can stand apparently is also used to milk stand creamery stand, which these ones up here are taken from this field here. And then you see that there is no Irish word added yet because I haven't found out and nobody else has found out what the Irish word for milk stand is. We haven't found a standard word in French either because they might not have used them in French, in France. It, it is a Canadian French word that we have found online. And then there are some other, um, languages that we, where we found the word. So, in German, there are four words for it. And then in Estonian, there seem to be two. In Finnish, there are also two. And in Icelandic, there might be two. And Japanese and so on and so forth. 
Scots Gaelic has a very short word for it. So this is where that is taken from. And I'm making this excursion into Wikidata because I want to show you that if you are now searching for milk churn stands on Wikicommons, so let's say you are Icelandic, you are from Iceland and you want to look for pictures of milk churn stands for some reason. So obviously you would use the Icelandic work, which seems to be Mjölkorpal or something like that. And if you put this in here and hit enter, it will not just you look for milk churn stands in Iceland because it has learned through this list here. It has learned all the words for milk churn stand in all kinds of languages. So it will look for all milk churn stands in all these languages. So the first ones are all in Ireland because they're the most recently added ones. But if you scroll down, you'll find um, other examples in England, Wales and wherever. So this is the beauty of Wikidata, you know, uh, briefly. There's a lot more you can do with Wikidata, but this is just one thing. So, so we've added this under depict milk churn stand, and then we also want to add the townland name. And in this case, it's Temple Martin. So if I if I manage to spell it, Temple Martin. You see there are a couple of results there, an electoral district in County Cork, which is not the one we want, obviously, and also not the second one in Cork. We want the town land in Kilkenny, rural county, Kilkenny, Ireland. Or do we? There seem to be two. It, it's definitely one, the one in Clara. Let's say this was in Raheen, in County Leash, the Raheen north of Abbey Leaks which most of you will not be familiar with, but there used to be a creamery there, which was founded in 1926, fairly late. So if I typed in Raheen, you see there are even more results, and that's not all the results that you can get for Raheen. So it doesn't have townland, I think the parish is called, so it doesn't have that, so we can't choose any of those. If we then go to Wikidata and type in Raheen, search for pages containing Raheen. You get a whole list of 20 and then there's next 20 and next 20 and so on because Raheen is a very common townland name. So let's see if there is one in County Leash, if we can find the one that we're looking for. This one here is probably the wrong one. If the Wikidata entry is done fairly well, you'll get a little map like down here. And you can zoom out to see if that's the one you meant. It is not because it's west of Rastowney and I was looking for the one that is here. So this is the wrong one. So you might have to look around for a little bit. Once you're sure you found the right townland name, you take this identifier here, copy that and paste that in here and that will automatically kind of translate that into the entry. But since this is not in Raheen but in Temple Martin, we will not paste this here and press enter. But we will rather Temple Martin, type that again, choose the one in Clara which is the parish. This might be a duplicate entry, I'm not quite sure. Well, we choose this one and then we're done. I mean, we could add milking parlor because that's the building behind there, for example, but I'm not going to do that. And then we can go and click publish data for all files. So then the wiki data will be associated with this image, which we can check. This is your process finished. It says, thanks for uploading. You can now use these files on wikis or link them on the web. So these two links you can use. If we click on the little thumbnail here or the link below, it opens a new page with the summary for this, for this photograph. 
So we have the photograph. Up here we have the file name, file time, the Martin Milk turns on close up dot jpeg. And then we have the photograph here. And underneath you see there are a couple of different resolutions that you could get it in. If you needed this photograph for a newspaper or something, you might want a larger resolution or for your parish newsletter or for your website or whatever. It comes in several resolutions that are automatically generated. Um, if you wanted to use it, you can download it here under download. If you wanted to use it online, you would click on this link here, use this file on the web. And this opens this window and it gives you the page URL, which links to this page here. Not the image, just the whole page. The next one is the file URL. So if you wanted to use this on a website, you would use this. But you would also have to use the attribution, which is here under attribution. And it has the username, the uploader's name, the copyright license CC0, and then via Wikimedia Commons. So it is absolutely free to use this image now, but it is common decency to use the attribution. And it's also in the rules of Wikimedia to do that. If you wanted to embed this, you would just copy this whole thing and that would also give the attribution automatically. So this is what you can do if you wanted to use this online. And then you can also use it on a wiki, which doesn't necessarily mean Wikipedia. Sometimes people have special wikis like, I don't know, a farmer's wiki where you find all information about farms or OpenStreetMap has its own wiki. So if you wanted to use it in a wiki, you don't have to upload this image again there. It's all interlinked. All the wikis are interlinked. Down here then we have the caption in English and because I also added it in German, I can click here and it gives also the German caption. And then down here in the summary, we have the description that I typed in and the date the picture was taken, which is, as I said, taken from the EXIF data and then source is own work because remember we ticked um, when we uploaded it, we take that it was an, our own work. The author's name, which is the username, and the camera location. If I wanted to see that on a map, for example, I would click this link with the GPS. It opens a new file and it gives you a table of all types of maps. Apple Maps, Bing Maps, there's Google somewhere, Google Earth. Here we go, all kinds of maps anyway, and of course, OpenStreetMap. And if you clicked on any of these links here under the column map, it would open that map like Google Maps, which obviously I won't do. And it would open this location where the picture was taken on that map. And the same for a satellite, if you know, if it is a satellite map, if it has both layers and other things here. And then it has, again, the copyright license here, all explained, the file history. And down here we have the metadata where it gives you information about the camera, which is now not super important. Um, it also gives you the altitude of where the picture was taken. I measure the altitude of the lecture stands as well with my phone. It gave me 66 meters, if I remember correctly. I'm just recording these for a later project. Um, you don't have to worry about that. Down here then, at the very bottom, we have the categories. The main category is, of course, Milk Churn Sands in County Kilkenny, which is the category we placed it in. There are also some hidden categories that you don't really have to worry about too much, about the copyright license and things like that. If I clicked on the category Milk Churn Sands in County Kilkenny, it will open a page with all the photographs that are in that category, which are now 32. Most of them were taken by me, if not all. And this category is then in a um, category further up, Milk Churn Sands in the Republic of Ireland. I'll click on that. That has two subcategories, as I said, Milk Sands in County Kilkenny and Milk Sands in County Cork with two files. And then four extra ones that aren't 
in either of those counties. The first one, I think, is in County Sligo. I'm not entirely sure. The second one is in County Tipperary. Uh, I took that one. And the third is in County Leash. I also took that one. The last one, we don't know where it was taken because there is no GPS associated with that photograph. If anyone recognizes the milk churn stand or the milk churns, please add that information to this file. If um, I'll go back one. The milk churn stands in County Kilkenny are also all in the category County Kilkenny. I'll go back to the ones in the Republic. I also added this template here. Uh, it's called GeoGroup and it shows a map of all the photographs in that category. So if I click on that, it opens this map. And at the moment, it only shows the three that are not in the sub subcategories. But if I tick the box up here, it'll show all the milk stands that are in the Republic of Ireland. So we have the two in County Cork down here. And then we have loads in County Kilkenny, 32. And it shows them in these cluster markers. And so there are 16 in this area, 12 in this area. If I zoom in, it spreads them out more and more and more. So it shows you the location. I think you can also just, yeah, if you disable the cluster markers, it'll just show those. And when you hover over them, it'll show you a preview of that photograph. The milk churn stands in the Republic of Ireland are then again in a category that is called milk churn stands. If I click on that, you'll see all the different countries. So milk churn stands in Estonia, Finland, Germany, Republic of Ireland, Norway, Sweden, and the United Kingdom. And then we have some that aren't in any of those categories. The last one is in Iceland. You might be able to guess from the file name, but there is only one in Iceland, so it doesn't have its own category. Um, the one here might be in Poland, but there are some countries that only have one or two pictures, so they don't have their own category yet. This one doesn't have the geo group template, so I can't show you the map. So this is basically all we needed to do. If you can check your uploads here when you're logged in, but you have to have been logged in to when you uploaded them. So you go to uploads and it will show you the last uploads. Shine will. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day and keep safe. Slange full.